Hi friends, today I'm going to teach you how to make a balloon monkey. For these balloon monkeys, you're going to need two 160s, a light brown and a dark brown, five 260s, two light browns, a beige, a yellow, and a white, and three five inch rounds, two white and one black. Let's get to her. So you're going to take the beige, the blush rather, you're going to make a one inch pinch twist, just like that. Five inch bubble, or five finger bubble rather. A one inch pinch twist. Now you want to bring the blush back. If you made a five, four, four or five finger bubble, you're going to have to make a two inch bubble. Two and a half inch bubble. So bring it back and you wrap it around just like that. So it looks like this. You break this off. You want to keep your scraps. Scraps are good. Tie it off. And I like to pull it back and around this side here just to keep it a little secure. There we go. And it should look like this. Now we're going to take your light brown, one inch, or 160, sorry. We're going to take the nozzle, and we're going to wrap it around the ear, just like that. We're going to make a three finger loop. Wrap it around the ear. The uh, pinch twist again, and we're going to squeeze to make it nice and soft. Make it about a four inch bubble, and we're going to pull it around this side. Again, we're going to make a three inch bubble. Wrap it around, and then we're going to squeeze nice and soft. Bring it back around. Measure the size of the head just like that. And we're going to wrap it back around just like that. So this is like this. So again, we're going to squeeze. Measure the distance. And pull it around. One more time, but this time we're going to make it just a little bit bigger. So if that was four fingers, make it to five fingers. And again, pull it around. I'm going to break this off. Tie it off. You want to, you want to hide it so you, whoever you're going to give it to doesn't see it. So with this loop, we're going to put this side inside there. Just like this. So it looks like that. I'm going to do the same with the other side, just like that. So this is your monkey's head, and it looks like this. So with your five inch rounds, I got two white, we're going to blow them up. Whoop. I'm going to blow them up up there, I'm going to let a little bit of air out. You're going to hold that in your hand and take the other one. Blow it up the, the same way. Let some air out so about the same size. Now when you tie it, you want to tie it as close to the bubble as possible. So it leaves this nozzle a little bit of a tail. See? Now you want to tie them together as close to the knots as possible. So it looks like this and you have two tails. You want to take your black now. You want to blow up about half the size of your eyes. So about there. Tie it. And you want to put it in between the two weights. Again, trying to keep your... so it's long enough to pull through here. You're going to put this Bring your fingers right up in here. You grab the two nozzles, they're both white, pull them down. 
The separation looks like this, sitting here. We wrap it around once, twice, and we hide it inside the hair. Like that. We'll do this again to this side. Wrap it around once. And then hide it inside the hair. Straighten your eyes out. And there's your monkey's head. Pretty cute, hey? Let's go to the body. So you grab your 260. You blow it up about maybe six fingers tail. You take the nozzle and make a three finger loop. You tie it around. Just like that. And you take the nozzle and pull it through to keep it secure. Then you take a, a one inch bubble and you make a pinch twist. Just like that. Then you want to bend it just like this and give it a little pinch. It gives it a form. That's going to be its knee. You take three fingers from the knee, or the bend, twist, another one inch bubble, which is going to be a pinch twist. So it looks like this. That's going to be his bum. Well, three more fingers, or four, whichever you like. Another one inch pinch twist. Just like that. So now here you want to grab, hold, hold the end over like this, wherever you want his elbow to be. And like you did with your knee, you give it a little, a little twist. And that gives it form. So you just want to give it a little, a little bubble at the end. And with this tail, just tie it around. This will keep it secure. So here, Half a body should look like this. You have one pinch twist, two pinch twists, three pinch twists, and a little three inch bubble. So you take your second balloon, 260, but again, six finger and tail. You take your nozzle, wrap it around, about three fingers, twist it, and pull the nozzle through. A one inch bubble, which is going to be a pinch twist. Bend it, and you tweak it just like that, just a little pinch. And give your shape. About three fingers from the bend. Twist, another one inch pinch twist. So it looks like this. Then about a three finger, if you don't remember the size that you made this, you just need to me measure it. Mine's a little bit big. There we go, another one inch pinch twist. My arm's going to be kind of long. So we're going to go like this. Give it a little tweak. We'll give it his arm. A little bubble there. Mine's going to be a little long, so I'm going to give it a little one inch twist. And then I'm going to break off the end. And I give that one inch twist so it keeps the air in there. And I can just release, tie it off, and wrap it around so it doesn't come undone. So there we go. We have a half of the body. So we take both halves. Uh oh, I think I'm losing my bum. We take both halves. We take the pinch twist. Twist them together. Just like that. We take the other two pinch twists. Put them together. And we're going to twist them. Now with this, we're going to twist it enough that you can put it in there, like that. And now your body looks like this. He's headless. <laughs> That's where this comes in. So you take the 260, or the 160, sorry, the dark brown. We're going to take the nozzle of that and put 
go through the bottom of the head, all the way up to the eyes. Just like that, and we're going to twist it around the eyes and the nose. And that will hold that in place. We're going to make a one inch bubble there, which is, that'll be his neck. And we're going to put it right in between here. That's the shoulder blades. Just like that. So we're going to twist it around once or twice to keep it nice and secure. There he is. So that's what he should look like. So th you make this three, this part here three inches. Maybe you want to make this two and a half. Just like that. You want to pull it around between his legs and between his bum cheeks. So it looks like this. I think our monkey's kind of hungry. We need to make him a banana. So for his tail, you just wrap it around the fingers. Manipulate it by squeezing. Just like that. And if you think it's too long, you can just twist it. Break it off. And then tie it. Just like that. Now, for the banana, we're going to take a yellow 260. We're going to pull it halfway. We're going to make it nice and soft so you guys stretch it. Squeeze all the air down. We're going to make about a three finger bubble. Twist it around and pull the nozzle through. Another three finger bubble. And one more. Three finger bubble, just like that. Then you could maybe manipulate it by bending it a bit. So it looks like the banana is like peeled. You take the last 260 white, blow it up about halfway, you don't need very much. We actually have to get the air from here to here. So we're going to push it down. By pushing it down, I hold, I twist this part of the balloon, I hold it so no air will get out of there, and then I just push the air down by holding my thumb and my finger and pushing. There we go. I give it a little bit of shape. Put it inside your middle of your yellow. And we're going to break this off. There we have a banana. Makes you feel hungry? I think he's hungry. So we're going to make up a, from the, from the bottom of the balloon, of the yellow, we're going to make about a one inch bubble. And we're going to twist it inside his hand. So it looks like he's holding it. We're going to take this, we're going to, the access here, the little tail, we're going to take it and tie it off. Because we don't need it, and we're going to break it. There we go. Awfully big banana for this little monkey, isn't it? Hopefully he's hungry. Now we're going to trust the little marker and give him some eyes. Thanks for watching.